2014, 2015. It's the meeting of the Commissioner's Cover Sheet Review Committee, designated by the Commissioners to serve as the members today is Commissioner Jose Arajo of Queens County Democrat and, uh, and Commissioner Fred Humane, uh, Manhattan, uh, New York County Republican. Uh, commissioners, we have a combination of both cover sheet defects and amended cover sheets and printers letters to present to you today. Uh, James Barron was handling the Bronx and Staten Island. We'll go first since he only has three items. Commissioners for Richmond County, we have a county committee schedule um, that does not contain a zip code. Only one candidate, only one candidate has a schedule. It's for a... Uh, Commissioners, we received a printer's letter for uh, candidate Jean, uh, Jeannie uh, Green, in that um, in the petition, her address does not have a zip code, and the printed letter seeks to correct that error. So okay, then I can make this is a valid cure if it's okay. But then, Commissioners, the result will be is if this is deemed a valid cure, the, the, the cover sheet match. does the not match. match, we will give them notice to correct the cover sheet to basically put the zip code on the cover sheet they copy off of the petition. And in this case, Commissioner, they, the cover sheet now matches the printer's letter. So there's no other defect. They got it right on the side. Yes. What? Larry Canton is from Manhattan. Um, we have the folder of the printers out as first. I think that's sure easier. We'll go quickest. Okay. 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 Volume 
it's supposed to be based on this petition. Uh, district leader. Just to let you do. Volume number 161. Yeah. This one doesn't deal with it because 161. Candidate doesn't appear on this petition at all. That's the only the cover sheet defect is that the candidate's name is not listed in the petition. They claimed it on the cover sheet. Peter D. McCoy. D. Peter McCoy, the Republican District Leader, 76 South Park. His name not on this petition. Yeah, this is for the North Park. We yeah, they, they, they were yeah. correcting something. No, we did. We sent out the notice to them telling them that the cover sheet was incorrect uh, for that district because the cover sheet claimed volume 161, which is this volume, and the candidate does not appear on this volume. So the cover sheet defect is right, but they just sent the wrong cure. Yeah. Well, if it's only a cover sheet defect, wouldn't it? They, get, they haven't cured. They haven't filed an amended cover sheet yet. Yes. But the print is the letter. petition. It just claimed the wrong. I don't. I haven't. I don't know what volume to look for. I, I mean, we haven't checked yet to see where Mr. Mayor okay. Mr. Poison any volume. Okay. We can check that. They can still. They can still do. Yeah. The amended notice. The cover sheet defect went out yesterday, so they'll have until okay. midnight Thursday. Okay. But this, I think, we'd have to deem as so. not a valid cure for the printer's letter. He has almost like a null of it. This will attach to it. It's the same. Even though they changed the name of the part, it's the, still the wrong volume. And that's what they would, if, they, if there is a printed I'll have to double check. Next. Next one is the zip code error. That was corrected with a, with a printed's uh, error letter. If you get a chance, could you get me a copy of the letter that went <coughs> the, 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 yes. Can you just make a zero? One. Thanks very much. Right. And then, and then. give them for Mr. Niehaus a defect letter on the cover sheet because the cover sheet still has 1002. Uh, well, no, no that's, that's right correct. That's, that's correct. Right so then there's not a cover sheet. Printer's error letter should have been. Okay. So now the cover sheet matches the petition. As so we're good. So, we don't yeah. so there's no defect on this one. This, this one's a little different. Uh, the uh, printer's error letter came in and the. Uh, Volume they cite, it doesn't seem to have the error, uh, but the uh, printer referred to some other volumes without referring to the number. But what's the original defect? Well, the candidate's correct that apparently only on some of the sheets. It's, not, it's beyond. I, we only get to review the first sheet of the petition, Commissioners. Apparently, they found an error internally within some of the other sheets of the petition volume. And as you see, they said on some of them they misprinted the name. What's the, 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 what's the, the defect that you sent? We didn't. We, we didn't. So they're responding on their own. Yeah. They're providing a printer by the saying that in this candidate's name, is a Zena, is a Zen Sawitzina Wolch. On some pages of the petition, the cover sheet is correct. Yeah, I don't know. No, no, not on the first page, but on other pages. No, not on the copy we saw. They're claiming in other petitions. As you know, we normally don't go beyond the first page. Right. They're not identifying the particular pages. They didn't say on which page. Some of the pages. Yeah, but... But they, in other words, they put people, by filing this, they put people on notice 
that that's either the right spelling or the right address, whatever it is. Even if it's so the if, 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 if the people are doing specs against the individual page, they would have noticed. So I think this is okay. What's this one? Is the same thing? Same. Is it two inch thing? How many copies of that one? Candidates name from Manhattan. Different office numbers? Yeah, no, different offices. One is for the associate district leader, one is for the alternate delegate. She appears on both. And the candidate for both. So. Just as a right. side note, why, we, why are we stamping the ballot pure? Yeah, yeah, there's no DNA. Right. Well, we didn't have any other Don't way. Don't we just file that? No, that because we've done. always had you write OK on yeah. it, Commissioner. Well, it's sort of easy. Well, on the printer's letter. The, the have to approve a printer's letter to make it valid. I, I see so, your point, though. We had a stamp saying sure. valid, but I have a sense of pure. Of course, I'm pure. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what we're doing, right? We're accepting the printer, right? We're not making a determination that it's a valid pure because we haven't raised any specific objection for it. Right. Is that pure or valid? Or pure. Because CIU treats it then as a valid.
that uh, McCutter's character went along or not. Uh, the next one is a similar type address correction where uh, the address is incorrect on the uh, petition and the printer's uh, error letter is attempting to correct that error. She works with the board. Yes. Cover sheet matches the correction. Billy Weber? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's going to come later on and say everybody knows me as a will. Where there's a will, there's a way. Only the Republican candidate, the district attorney, has given us a name change so far. She doesn't want to run with the married thing. <laughs> no, you need a break with it. Oh, these be amended. It's good. Yeah. 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 Well, for both, we gave them notice both that the zip code was missing both on the cover sheet on the petition uh, as well. So they've attempted to cure the petition by sending a printer's letter in for the candidate Jane RNL that her zip code was omitted. down the Manhattan Democratic Petition to Al Larry's yeah. we'll, we'll get it for you. Can we try it? Uh, you well, bring, the, bring the whole folder down to the Democratic Larry, Petition. Larry, where is it? Yeah. Cool. Where's your, where's it's, your, it's in the um, Sixth Floor Commission. Seventh Floor Conference Room? Seventh Floor Conference Room. Yeah. 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 So all three had their addresses. And those zip code, code. right. Those zip uh, the loss of the company didn't have it. We, I don't know where we, you should have put it. Commissioner, we're going to pull this back. Uh, we're going to have to wait. Yeah. We don't have it all together. Okay. It, they're saying that they cover sheet only they amended it either. This is, oh, this is the defect that Judge Hadley. Okay. See the third basement on the end? Yes. Commissioner, the defect <coughs> on the original cover sheet which they attached, they claim two volumes. She only listed one. The amended cover has two. And it has the certification. Uh, is this just bad copying or is this crossed out? The, the office mm -hmm. and all that? That's just bad copying. I think it's Xeroxing. Yeah. Okay. I just, I, it, yeah. Yeah. We, from, from this distance, it looked like somebody took a right. pencil and crossed it, it. This is the original copy, too. That's the way the copy. I don't know whether it's the color they use. Sorry, I'm 
Sorry. Now I do. I thought I thought you went. I thought I gave it to you first. Okay. Now these are regular defects. This, so, this, more additional standard defects. This the review staff uh, picked up in terms of uh, the omission of addresses on the schedule, and they, schedule. they happen to have made out an individual sheet each, for each candidate. Each candidate. So if you want a commissioner, just say see schedule. But here's the schedule. And over the weekend, they literally made one for each of those missing addresses. When you say one for each of them. In other words, they wrote a defect sheet for Linda Sayer. There are so seven defect so sheets for Perry Good. When you say, uh, uh, well, so we did a defect sheet. We didn't get any uh, letters or no, anything. No, no, no. This commissioner, this one was doing the cleanup and the review. Okay. Over the weekend, they found that it's just a defective schedule. Okay. But okay. normally we would write C attached schedule. Is it the same address? We don't know. No. Well, no, Commissioner, if you have for each... Two, pe two people in each box. And in the, there's no... In the case, like for Linda Sayer, there is no address. No, but, uh, well, I, I'm just asking, my question is whether or not Linda Sayer lives at the same address, and that's why they left it that way. I, I don't know. That's why I'm asking. But there are those where the second name has the address at the bottom. No, I understand, because maybe they live differently. I don't know. That's why I'm asking the question, whether or not Diane lives at 333 Broadway, Phyllis Adams lives at 333 Broadway, and they just right. left it one... Commissioner, will you have people at the same, or oh, different ED, but I'm trying to see if there's anybody with the same addresses or names you can match them. It's a building because there's multiple people with different uh, names at the same address. Look at, look at. Well, no, the schedule schedule says, well, wouldn't this just come up prima facie? No, this would be on the schedule is defective. I don't because again, Commissioner, it's because of your direction, they are not entering off the petition, so we don't know what's on the petition. They're only entering off the schedules. And my point is, if they don't get it corrected, and if it's on the petitions, I think we're committing an improper act if we remove them from the ballot. But there's no address. Because unless we're going to direct the staff on to check each of those petition pages they sent forth and see no, what's no, on no. there. We're supposed to do the schedule, right? What well, they could That's have right. done is said both or something like that. Or do a dinner marker together or something to make clear. Is it in a box? Dittlemark? It's two separate names. Again, the schedule is supposed to set forth the name and the address, same way as if you had candidates running on a petition for judicial delegate, two different names, even husband and wife. We wouldn't accept it if it was just one address for two of them. We don't make assumptions. So therefore, Commissioner, I hate as long as it's consistent, it is. What we've we done would, in the past, we'll send the notice out to the contact person. But I'd ask right? you to, yeah, I'd ask you to sign each of those. That's for each Unless of those the petitions questions. like that. That is accurate. Well, mm -hmm. again, but for the commissioners, we are not checking the petitions for council committee. Steve, the two kind of they have to sign all those things? No, 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 Hmm? No, this one's different. It's just oh. the closet. Okay, but it's down. On it's on the same sheet. Yeah. Okay. What's volume numbers? Quickly, because the rule change, we won't have to send individual notices. It'll just go to the one contact person. Save us some work and some postage. 100, 101, and 102. Are we taking people's email addresses and shooting emails as well? No. We're just doing the fax and the letter. And not even fax, we're doing it's the letters, yeah. Yeah. because the express mail is the only way we have proof. Well, that the fax do for the, the Sometimes the fax work. comes through that the remote's not correct, so we've been just, we've made the decision, we've gotten everyone out before 8, 7, 30 every night, so they're getting the next day delivery, waiver of signature. Because this way we also have a tracking record when they attempted to deliver it. This is the zip code for. Uh, yes, Commissioner. It is on the petition. It says the little red line for Jane. What is this now? This uh, is the missing one. We have the, the Jane, Jane Ardell in each of these, they're missing the zip, zip code. code. Same thing on the petition. One, so two. This, this, this is, no, this is the one we pulled back. This is the printer's letter. Here's the three petition numbers that they're referring to Jane. 
here that they left off the zip cover. Where's the amended cover sheet? Where's the amended cover sheet? anyway today on the cover sheet because they have till midnight tonight to get this correct. Okay. So Commissioner, do you want to deem the printer's letter? Because there's a defect notice, an MCN notice and also on the cover sheet. Uh, it's not clear if it came in today night and that is for a cover sheet to come in. Alright, so we'll, do you want accept, to accept, we'll accept the print if it's okay with you. Yeah, we'll we'll accept. That's the name of the petition. He didn't have the volume numbers. Oh, okay. It's the name of the district leader petition is here. Okay. So Landon Pays is one volume. Mm -hmm. um, district leader Vincent Scott Morgan is the second, mm -hmm. and the third district leader is Atu Mensha. He didn't have the volume numbers, his own printer printer. <laughs> because he, I guess, they didn't tell me that he admitted that he printed these without the zip code. Can we've taken that without the volume numbers? Because there might be multiple more volumes at that. that we matched it up to the commissioners to the cover sheet. Uh, we identified it. Those are the only three volumes that she appears on. We, we have volume numbers in the, in the NCN notice telling them what the problem was. Commissioners, with your permission, I'm going to issue then a withdrawal of the non-compliance notice because the non-compliance notice said that the schedule didn't match the petition. Now that you're deeming this to be accepted, the punishment now fits the crime. Well, there shouldn't have been any punishment <laughs> because, as you can see, this the schedule now matches the printer's letter. So, sorry, 
respect, we're going to do here that by commission's direction. Address the committee's still vacancies. What? No, that's right. That's Craig. It's Craig's home address. Okay. Say there's no home address. Commission is clearly directed that the MCN be withdrawn upon acceptance of printer's letter. Commission just initial that. We'll get the letter out tonight withdrawing the MCN. That's it, Commissioners. That's it. Now the only thing left should be as the amendments come in and the three-day clocks run. So that's why we met for a committee to Thursday because we have stuff due tomorrow night. The other stuff due either Friday or Monday. We'll do it on Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.